getting better. It used to be like that, but not so much. Now everything's just getting worse. Go down, damn it. Oh, that's the part where he just laughs and mocks your ass. Fuck. See, I've gotten way better at that. I've actually started using it. Fuck. There's some more elite let player out player you can play this entire game on, like, no hope mode without getting hit once. Probably do it in super short time too. I'll pass. You can always get what you want, Simmons. Ah, I shanked him twice. <laughs> and the, the arrow is much bigger. <laughs> Didn't even know you could do that. That's kind of funny. I guess you're supposed to just stand there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that one part looked like shit on YouTube because it's standard def. I don't want to upload it at any higher def because it'll probably take longer. Kind of bugs me out, but oh well. Eventually. You're really confused by all this, aren't you, Leon? Kind of fun to watch. Make an anime, goddammit. When you stop making Resident Evil, make an anime. <laughs> they never will. Or I'll probably never see it. The way things are going. Probably like 10 years from now, and the US will be third world shithole. And I'll probably be dead. Oh well. Maybe I might go to visit Japan. Always wanted to go there. This reminds me of RE1. Not, well, not sort of like one, but. RE4. And the RE movie. Movie 1. So, this is where Carla did her experiments, huh? Clara, there we go. Oops. Huh. <laughs> Didn't see that glass there. Another failure. Bring me another subject. Why do you think we had this lab built here in the first place? China has no... Outside, there's thousands of subjects to choose from. Human rights? Or very poor? Tell Simmons that we're busy. I'm on the verge of solving this. Are you refusing my orders? You're the one who chose me as a test subject, aren't you? No. No, no Simmons. He forced me to, please. Don't do this. Believe it or not, I said the exact same thing. <laughs> I don't think... I know. That's fucking creepy. You know, he didn't seem that pissed off there. She seemed quite happy with what happened. But she was probably holding in. And probably her greatest work was in destroying the world. Hiding her emotions and whatnot. Speaking of hiding emotions. Be 
beyond sympathy at this point. We're beyond humanity. Che. <laughs> she finally shows emotions. I guess her campaign kind of steeped in symbolism. Essentially, she just killed her dark side. <laughs> Oh, you know the Japanese, they're not like a dumb eye, dumbass, round eyed American. They know how to use symbolism. <laughs> See, that looks like a family portrait right there. So this whole campaign was one giant symbolism. Symbol. Good job, huh? It was symbolism. Maybe. Probably is. <sighs> My schedule just cleared. And that, my friends, was Ada Wong's campaign. Very symbolic. Her fighting her dark side, essentially. And destroying it multiple times. And the end of RE6 for now, unless they release some DLC campaign. I'd like to see that. Like, I like Dark Corners. Dark Shadows? Cor no, Dark... Not, whatever it was. The thing where you played as Leon and... Not Leon. In RE5, where you played as, uh... Chris and... Jill. I enjoyed that because it's like one giant nostalgia trip. So yep, overall I liked RE4. Not four. Well, I love four. Four is my one of my favorite games of all time. Also my favorite uh, Resident Evil game. Due to sheer nostalgia, I like with the direction they went in this game. Be nice if they uh. Kept some things for five, like being able to upgrade your weapons and choose which weapons, but I get it, they went more story or oriented. Which is another unfortunate thing about gaming today. It's sacrificing gameplay for story. Like, if you like that, good, but I play games to play games, damn it. That's why I like games like Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto, you know, where it's not like most of its cutscenes and shit. But they did well. They didn't go all Mass Effect and Final Fantasy here. Definitely like that. You know, you could play as Chris and Leon and her and Ada. Yeah, you know, I'd be like it if it was one giant twenty-hour campaign or more like fifteen. And the chapters, whatever they did that in five. I, I wish it was more like four, obviously. Like, that's why I can't wait for Revelations, which will probably be like, more like four, but probably more like five. I enjoyed it, just want more, more guns, more enemies, longer campaigns. I think it was like a hundred hours, maybe I'd be satisfied. <laughs> We're all enjoyable, so. Obviously seven, they'll definitely upgrade from this, probably go back to being able to get your weapons. Nice if they brought back the merchant. Nice if one day they go back to like, four style. <laughs> There's one long campaign, but nowadays you either gotta be uber action oriented or story out the ass. Oh well. So my first Dazzle Let's Play went perfectly well. The next will be off the record in a few weeks. I still need to play off the record a few times to burn it into my brain where to get all the survivors. Because that's what I gotta do find all the survivors. Oh, and of course I have to show off all the extras. And I will show off more extras if they come out after this. Definitely will do another Let's Play if there's campaign added on. Megan anime. <laughs> nah, they probably won't. I mean, there's mangas, but. 
That took me half an hour. Like I said, way too short. <laughs> but it's sort of designed like that. So was 5, and I suppose the original Resident Evil. I've seen footage of it, where it's going to be sort of like chapter based. And remember, the original Resident Evil is going to, going to be like a first person shooter like Doom. But they, uh. It was, they were inspired, I suppose, by uh, Alone in the Dark to switch it to third person. And technically, Resident Evil was inspired by Sweet Home, the, uh. I think it was Nintendo or Super Nintendo game? I think it was Nintendo, which was based off a movie. Made Japan, of course. I fucking love Japanese. Uh, urban legends and folklore, because it's so rich. And creepy. So, you should definitely check out Urban Legends from Japan. Japan? Japan! Because I can sort of see some relations to some of the things in this game. Do wonder what RE7 will be like. But I'll find out in a few years, I suppose. Maybe. Of course, gonna do Revelations, which comes out in a few months. Talking like people actually follow me or listen to this. I've gotten like 45 subscribers, so two new people subscribe. Like, yay! Kinda neat. Eventually, you know, you start out small, and then one day you wake up like, holy shit, I got a couple hundred, then you know, a couple hundred thousand. Well, maybe not. I mean, if you're like over the gun, you've got like a few thousand. I need to check how many he has. He's got quite a few, although he's been on for a while, and he's had a lot better quality than me, obviously. 36 views. Dead Rising 1. But, now with the Dazzle Mine, we'll have a much better quality. Although my narration... Maybe my narration will get better. With time, everything gets better. Well, for the most part. I'd rather not get into that. Oh, fuck. See, that looks like a family portrait. I don't know, it probably says somewhere. Or someone will point it. I'll just add somebody eventually. Downside to being dyslexic. Hmm. <sighs> what to say, what to say. Uh, RE4 is ultimately my favorite, due to sheer nostalgia, because it was the first one I really played through and beat. I think it will always be my favorite, even if they go back to that style and do it better. You can't beat nostalgia no matter what. And it still loves up. That's why it's like a large portion of people consider to be one of the best games ever made. I'm a portion of that segment. I'd say that game, Dead Rising 1, and Team Fortress 2 are like my three favorite games of all time. Ugh. Captain to play RE4 now, but. Nah. I gotta finish up this game. Get the emblems. I'm missing like four. Beat the difficulty modes. 